Hello, Eva. It's Karina. I won't be able to make it this evening. I'm leaving early tomorrow. Very early. No, Eva, it has nothing to do with Klaus. You know that. Please, Eva. You have to understand. I've got to get away from here. Oh. You can use the cottage whenever you want to. You know where I hide the key. Try not to be angry with me. I feel I need to get away. See you, Eva. See you. So, alone and clean from the bath. Are you expecting anyone? No. Help to bring him in. Yes, boss. We're going to need a lot of hot water. Someone's been hurt. Uh. Get some clothes on first. very well. He should have shot at his legs. Yeah. This man needs a doctor. The bullet's still in there. Oh. Have you got any alcohol? use a little cottage like this. Then we could all be on our own. <laughs> I like the idea. So as you get the car. As soon as he comes around, we're leaving. Well, 
Blondie. Now we've got you. I know Arthur can't shoot straight. But it's possible that a young lady distracted him. <sighs> Pull yourself together. You know what I want to know and you're going to tell me. Until you do, no one's leaving. The swine's passed out again. You've got to do something. The man needs a doctor now. Or he'll die. <laughs> we don't have any medical insurance. Uh, know what I mean? Shall we take her with us? Then she can't tell anyone. And she could take care of him. That's a good idea. Very good, Arthur. Please don't be afraid. You've looked after him so far. You mustn't deny him any further treatment. Do I have to go as well? Wouldn't want him to die, would you? Get what you want. And your car keys. Come. You must be a brave girl. We want you to play the nurse. We all have to. Let her go. She'll be happy to come with us without you pawing at her. She reminds me of my sister. Yes, I know. Any children? No. Why? Why are you asking me all this? I don't know what you want. My sister's got three. Help us get our friend back on his feet again. As soon as possible. So that we can have a chat with him. You're a very beautiful woman. And your skin is beautiful. If you do what I say, and don't make any trouble, it'll stay that way. If you leave me alone, I'll do what I can. I'll leave you alone. Turn the mirror so that you can see me. Next to you is dead. Did they force you to come? Yeah. What shall I do? Try and turn off. Can you do that? Yeah. Good. 
They've gone. Perhaps the old boy wants to shake us off. Hey, Stasi, maybe he wants to go to learn on this thing. I doubt it. What if the boss is in trouble? We've got to find them as soon as we can. Shit! We can't get over there. What's your name? Corinna. Okay, Corinna. Turn off at the next exit. Okay. Oh, I need a doctor. Wouldn't it be better in your own interests? Uh, well, what exactly happened? An accident. I've already told you. With this gun. Please help the man. Please. Please put that thing away. After all, we are trying to help. Something stronger, perhaps? Mm. Hello, Dr. Surgery. Oh, it's you, Heinrich, yes. I read about it. Where have you been? Your father's sleeping, so you won't be coming over tonight. Oh, goodbye. Yes, he'll be back on his feet. Hild, fetch one of Heinrich's shirts. Yeah. Of course, he'll still need plenty of rest, you understand? Right. One to be taken every three hours, daily. Is there anything else we can do to help? I mean, do you need anything? How much do I owe? You can forget about it. We'll forget about it too, okay?
I don't know. Somewhere in the forest. And the man? He's dead. You got rid of him? Have you got any cigarettes? I think I've got a couple. That fell out of his pocket. I'm scared. My life's all mixed up. Tell you what. We both need a strong cup of coffee. And then you can drive me to the airport. Okay? Yeah. Take them with some water. One, three times a day is what the doctor said. Okay? Yeah. Oops. Thank you. Ah. It's good flying weather. When I was little, my parents gave me a gift. A little pet bird in a cage. I watched it for a whole day, and then I, I let it go. Later on, I joined the Air Force. I became a flyer, a pilot. The bill, please. I bought myself a private plane. That's how I earn my living. Charter flights and so on. Then there was a fire in the hangar where the plane was kept. It was a write-off. So I took out a loan and bought myself a new one. But I couldn't get any work, not a single job. And there was always something wrong with the place. And my debts grew and grew. Yes. Hello, Chris. Kowals here. Now listen carefully. I've found a buyer for your plane. I don't want to sell it. Sorry, but I need the money. You know that. And since you can't pay up, well, the guy's coming tomorrow, and he's going to pay cash. So make sure you're there at 11 o'clock. You got that, Chris? I understand. I'm very interested in this plane. Do you own her? Yes. Why? My boss wants a plane like this, but I think he'd like to tell you that himself. the man, boss. What's your weight limit? 2,000 kilos, all up. 
Very good. Yours is it? Yes. Do you want to hire the plane? Yes. And you. Careful. She's very temperamental. No wonder, with her magneto intact. You're a flyer? That was in the past. So I don't suppose you're looking for a joyride? There are no frontiers in the sky. Where do you want to fly? Can you fly low? Where to? Sweden. What's it worth? Five thousand per flight. I'm sure you understand. She's got enough fuel to get you there and back and not a single mile further. So no trips around the world, huh? What was going on? I mean, what was being smuggled? I don't know. I still have no idea to this day what I was flying. I don't want to know either. so long. The Swede kept me waiting. He lost his key in the field. And he was pissed. Debts were paid off, the claim was paid for, so I decided I wanted out. But that's a different story, getting out. Yeah. Why are you asking me? For God's sake, just dump those lousy shares, they get on my nerves. 
And another thing, if I've got to do all your thinking, you might as well do your job. What's up? You know very well you're not supposed to come down here. Sorry, boss. We'd never disturb you at home unless... Arthur, please get to the point and make it good. Blondie wants out. He told us. He might just want more money. He might. Don't you want to get wet today? Sorry, Blondie, but if you want out, then it's all over for you. Leave us. We can solve this two ways. This is the other way. I've doubled it. <laughs> I'll carry him. He's got sense. <laughs> Stay here. All right. I've got to have a pee. Guy knows no frontiers. So you simply flew off into the blue and hid from them. I thought I'd be safe down there. But they found you after all. I should have stopped flying. The first thing they traced was my plane. But you... You'd hidden yourself very well. 
Yes. In your cottage. I ate from your little plates. The key was easy to find. Was it? And now I have to check my plane. Over there. This is the end of the road, is it? Hmm? No, I suppose I'll have to hire a car from somewhere. But you can't drive with that shoulder. I really don't want you to get mixed up in this business any further. I want you to drive back to your house. Forget it ever happened. Just forget it. And tomorrow we <coughs> self-defense. We'll go now. I'll drive you. What'd I tell you? I knew he couldn't keep away from his plane. He's crazy about flying. <laughs> I wish I knew what had happened to the boss. He must have got rid of him. Rid of him? But what's he going to do with her? What's he done with the boss then? Take it easy. Perhaps we can split things two ways from now on. Well, what are you waiting for? Put your foot down! Westhausen, to a friend of mine. I'm taking you there. Person taken against their will with seven letters. Hmm? Seven letters. Hey, Arthur. Hmm? What, what's he doing with all that diving gear? Underwater. Underwater. That's where it must be. We'll get you, Blondie. He'll have the fright of his life when he comes back up. <laughs> he have eyes like a frog. And a girl. A girl. I'll have her for afterwards. What do you want all this stuff for? A holiday? Not a holiday. Have it. The currency is in a very safe place. At the bottom of a lake. Got it in one. Are you all right? Wonderful. Chris, look behind us. Hmm? It's them. Shit. Faster. Ah! 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 Ah!
idiot. For Christ's sake, Stasi! They got past. I should have known they'd be waiting for us at the airfield. Stars has got some brains. But you gave him the slip, all right? You were great. Thanks. It's quite cosy here. Is it far now? Hmm. A good hour. Are you tired? No. Shame. I'd really like to fly a Renault for a change. Hmm. As long as you're careful. Mm. Just like you are, eh? <laughs> Not a thing. Shit! You can't have gone that far. You must have been asleep at the wheel. A fox never sleeps. He only catnaps. What are you doing now? I wonder what they've been up to in the barn. <laughs> Can't you think of anything else but that? That's where my friend lives. In that ruin? It's a good place to hide. This is a pleasant surprise. Mr. Callower, I didn't expect to see you. How are you? Hello. Because your friend Perry the painter isn't here at the moment. Good day to you, young lady. I think you'll find the keys already up there. Enjoy your stay. You know where everything is. Thanks. Surely nobody lives here. <laughs> My friend does. Oh, yes, and a ghost. A woman, uh, one of the family ancestors. It's quite a fantastic story. Every time my friend tells me about the ghost, I get this feeling that it's true. It's spooky. Let me help you. I don't believe in ghosts. Oh. <laughs> Neither do I. Amazing. Who would have thought it? Are you cold? Mm. I'll make a fire. And I'll make something to eat. Good.
God's sake, turn it down. You lost your marbles or something? Well, that noise you're making will bring the farmer down on us like a ton of bricks. That's not noise, that's music, you Philistine. That's classical music, but obviously you've got no ear for it. Your health. Thank you. I must say, this seems so unreal to me. Unreal? You can say whatever you like, but I'm quite sure that we've never met before. And yet we have a lot in common. Perhaps we share the same dreams. Are you sure? How do you know when you're dreaming or not? Come, give me your hand. Can you feel that? This is for real. God, that reminds me. I'm starving. What? I'm hungry. Oh. If we take our eyes off them for a second, they'll give us the slip. But you can go into the town to get something if you like. I'll take over your turn. Oh, no, no way. You must think I'm really stupid. <laughs> well, I'm tucking into egg and chips you push up with Blondie. Make a deal? <laughs> no, I'm sticking with you, my friend. I need my share to keep me in caviar and scotch. He found a really good doctor. We were lucky. <laughs> Chris, are you superstitious? That's the patron saint of smugglers. Has he brought you luck? Yes. Blondie's coming. Ah. He's going to the water. Let's get a move on. I can't wait. Arthur. What do you think he brought all that diving gear and stuff with him for? He's not ready yet. You've time for another drink. I've had enough of this piss awful stuff. <laughs> Tomorrow on, it's champagne for me. When are they going to stop farting around and go after the money? It's a pain in the ass this waiting. Arthur, uh, I think I've got an idea.
Turn around very slowly and make no mistakes. Just take it nice and easy. Is Arthur not here? <laughs> this stuff's very bad for you, you know. Shut your mouth. Does he? Tell me, how's your sister? You rat. You won't get out of here. You're done for. How friendly. It was really nice of you to drop in on me like this. You want the money? That's right. And you better get it sharpish. Or I'll take your lady here. Into the next room. <laughs> What's the matter? Do what you like with her. I don't give a shit. Chris! She's okay, but... certainly not worth a million. What? <laughs> How much? Just under a million it actually came to. Uh, 994,771 pounds. It must have been the final payment. Yes. There was that much in the case. Was? Yes. Was. Where is it now, Blondie? Somewhere you'll never find it. So, how are we going to split it? Stay where you are. Get over there. Get a move on. <clears throat> yes. You're capable of anything. But I think your luck's run out for the moment. <laughs> Not true. Well then, are we going to talk? Don't worry, it spooks. Don't talk rubbish. We're not kids, you know. Now tell us, where's the money? We have no agreement yet. It's in the water, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> the diving stuff. You're a genius. The lake's a mile and three quarters long. And only I know where it is. All right? Mm. Okay, Blondie, you've got a deal. We'll split three ways. Come down to show your friends the lake. <coughs> Good day, gentlemen. How are you today, my dear? Very well, I hope. Mr. Callowell? Mr. Gwendolyn. Call me Frank, please. <coughs> I was thinking of doing a little bit of fishing, but, well, you know, yes. Sometimes nothing will bite. Yes, Ferry, the painter, is in Crete, he's away. He's gone for the light. The days are longer there, you know. You see, the days are much shorter here. An artist can afford things like that. Are you staying longer? Um, no. The gentleman wanted to see the house and around the grounds. They're thinking of buying the place. Mm. And everything's fine? Yes. Uh, are you enjoying yourselves? Shall I skin a rabbit for you or open a bottle of schnapps? Yes, please. 
Well, here yeah, then. Have a good look round at everything, and I'll get a bottle of schnapps, and provided the old lady hasn't drunk the last drop. What do we do? I'll send him off shopping to the village. I think it'll take more than that before we can carry on. a little look round on your own? Hmm? <laughs> uh, you might have already heard that uh, just a moment. I'll be back. So you want to buy the uh, castle? Hmm? Oh, young lady. There you are. What do you want here? You were supposed to stay with the others. Just in case you didn't know, they do say that within these hallowed walls somewhere, in this castle, there is treasure hidden. Thank you. Oh, yeah? Who are they when they're at home? Just ask any of the local kids. There is treasure. And the place is haunted. Oh, yes, there really is a ghost. Do you believe there's treasure on the no, ghost? No, I don't believe that. Ah, but... Uh, Oh. You didn't have to do... Shame about the good snaps. <coughs> I think we should go and join the others. Let's go. Get a move on. Oh. It's all clear. Ah. What about the man? I got rid of him. Hang on. Those things stay here. <laughs> we don't want you giving us a slip, do we? Don't bother counting the money down there. We'll share it up here when you come back. <laughs> Here comes our million. <laughs> the swine. Maybe he's drowned. I'm not going to say it again. You can't fool me like Arthur. So come on out. And no tricks. 
You know I've got the girl. I'll give you ten seconds. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Come out. Three paces forward. You can drop your hands. And now you're going to tell me where the money is. You must think I'm stupid. If I tell you I'm dead. <laughs> then for once you're wrong. You've a bad memory. Move. Get over there. Go on. How much did you say is down there in the water? One million. A million? A lot of money. A million pounds. Enough for us both. And you won't tell me where it is? <laughs> I want to live. Yes. But you've forgotten something. In the asylum. The one I was in. The one I escaped from. It was the boss who looked after us. Me and my sister. My friend. Our friend. <laughs> he made her work on the streets. You killed my friend. And so, I'm going to kill you. We share it. No. Stuff all of that. I don't care. I don't need it. I'm... I'm going to... I'm going to kill you. Slowly. Nice and slowly. Nice and... And slowly.
Across the frontiers, Blondie. But not every frontier. You have talent. You could have been a real Mr. Big, but not now. <coughs> you missed your mark by a whisker. Your knife pierced my lung, not my heart. <coughs> Now! Oh. 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 